Protesters took their grievances and their Molotov cocktails straight to the prime minister's office. The opposition Democratic Party accuses the government of manipulating election results two years ago. Opposition leader Lutzim Basha blames the pace of talks with the EU on government corruption. We're here today to send a firm and clear message to Prime Minister Edi Rama. We will not allow you to block our road towards Europe anymore. Rama must go. Albania is one of the poorest countries in Europe, and many here have high hopes for EU membership. Discussions about joining the bloc were supposed to begin last year, but have been delayed by concerns over corruption in the judiciary. As the day went by, clashes continued. We're protesting because we're unemployed. This is a government of criminals, thieves. They are corrupt people. There's no court. There are no police. We are going nowhere. We are left without a state, without anything. God save us. The EU and the US have urged the opposition to channel its passion into local elections set for the end of June. For more on this, I'm joined by correspondent Besar Likmeta from the Albanian capital, Tirana. Thanks for joining us. Incredible scenes in Tirana yesterday. Are these protests having an effect? Are they forcing change? Well, the protesters were gathered or were bused from across Albania and gathered in Tirana. They're mainly supporters of the opposition uh, parties, of the opposition Democratic Party and the Socialist Movement for Integration. And their request is for the government to step down. Uh, they want a power sharing agreement before an, an earliest netball uh, is, is held. We should re remember that the, the opposition uh, has forfeited, the opposition MPs have forfeited their mandates in parliament a few months ago. And this is an escalating uh, political crisis. And the use of violence certainly saw uh, a new level yesterday with the use of Molotov cocktails against government buildings. Now, there has been talk of fraud, hasn't there? The opposition says there was fraud in the 2017 parliamentary elections, and yet the US and the European Union said the vote was legitimate. Can you explain that for us? Well, during, in the 2017 parliamentary elections, the opposition controlled several government ministries as part of a power sharing agreement that they asked and negotiated in terms of controlling allegations of election fraud during the polls, which and we played Albania since uh, it's basically in the last two decades. Uh, certainly, after the election, the opposition just didn't basically uh, come out and say that there was fraud in the elections. They accepted the legitimacy of the elections. The allegations relate to news reports earlier this January, which come from ser several police wiretaps and ties between several local politicians of the ruling government party and organized crime during the polls. So um, the allegations are, are being investigated, but are, there is no clear result from the prosecutor's office currently. OK. Uh, let's talk about the Prime Minister, Eddie Rama. Um, how is he reacting to these ongoing protests? Is there any chance that he might step down? Well, Eddie Rama has not budged. Basically, Albania uh, has to go into uh, local elections on June 30, and just yesterday the, the Socialist Party announced its party's candidates for mayors. So there is no sign from the government that they will bulge and, and meet at least some of the demands of the opposition. But also we should consider that the opposition demands are somehow extreme. They're asking not only for the government to step down, but any future early snap polls that will be held should be held under some sort of power sharing government. All right. Basar Likmeta in Tirana. Okay, thank you. Thanks so much for your, for your reporting.